I had the good fortune in 1991 to be sent to South Africa <coughs> by our former president, Bob White, on a fact-finding mission after Nelson Mandela was released from prison. And the simple question we were there to try to ascertain was whether or not Canada should lift sanctions against South Africa. I saw firsthand what the apartheid regime was all about. I thought it saw the faces of black sisters and brothers, the conditions they live in. I saw the past law system. I saw the housing and the squalor, the poverty. And we came back and recommended as a labor movement, we will maintain our commitment to keep the sanctions going until the apartheid regime come to its end. Again in 1994, I had the good fortune to go to South Africa as an international observer to watch the first democratic election in that country and watch Nelson Mandela get elected as the president of the ANC and saw the crumbling of the apartheid regime. For a person of color, I can't tell you the overwhelming feeling I had. <laughs> the most evil system next to the Nazi regime existed in South Africa. And Mandela came into power and basically took the most courageous decision that black people was not interested in revenge. They was interested in equality where black and whites can exist in a country where they can share in the wealth of a nation and try to build a new country. But on a personal level, the Sharpeville massacre also created the International Day for Eliminating Racism, something that is so fundamental in our struggle in this country for equality. You're gonna hear from a sister, Seymour Walters, very shortly to talk about her own personal tragedy. What that reminds me about what Nelson Mandela stood for is about the greatness of human beings. That if we stand tall and fight with each other as working people, we can do great things. The efforts by our union and then by our president, Bob White, who supported the SACTU Solidarity Committee and the work we did to isolate the apartheid regime, to block them from selling their products in Canada, gave us a conviction that our struggle is not just about the benefits of our members and our country, it's about lending a hand to other shores so they can fight their own struggles and to be in solidarity with them. Our efforts were very small in supporting the South African brothers and sisters, but there were thousands who died at the end of that apartheid regime. We did a very small thing, and as we will celebrate Nelson Mandela's death and his funeral, and I say celebrate because it's something to celebrate, but he has given us all his true hope in humanity. Despite the car scars of racism, we can do better. We can rise as one, we could put our hands together and say we can build a better world. And he has made it possible for a black man in the United States to today hold president because he said, if we can do it in South Africa, you can do it anywhere. I was honored to be part of that. My union made that possible. And I want to say the work we continue to do to build a union for equality for all makes me feel so proud. Thank you.